G'day folks, well it's a Monday again, one of them uh, back to work days, and I uh, had a pretty good day. And I managed to scab some of the bits out of the EDM, which is good, or most of it. Um, this disassembly started on that on Friday when I wasn't there, so there was no there's no videos to make on it really, it's just pulling the guts out of it, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. Likewise, I think I've got a board that'll suit that TAC panel. It's not out of a TAC, it's out of a similar generic TV, but I noticed the power supply that came out of the dead one was the same, except they had blown caps on the DC side. Uh, unfortunately, someone had kicked it and put a boot through the LCD panel, so all I did was salvage the board off the back and throw the rest out. So if I've still got that board, I might be able to get that panel working again without having to buy a replacement or try and fix that damaged processor. I don't believe it's a solder joint either, but I'll, uh, I might try reflowing it if I can get some flux. Um, yeah, apart from that, not a lot else on the computer side of things. Just going through uh, my mail, and uh, thank you to Viper CMA for donating a little digital multimeter. It'll even focus. Yep. At first I was trying to, sc I was scratching my head working out who might send me a meter, and then I peeled the rest of the package open, and uh, sure enough, thank you for leaving a note, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to say who it was. Um, yeah, really neat. Looks like a little... Uh, clone of a fluke, a miniature clone of a uh, fluke multimeter or similar. Yeah, he said he bought a couple of them and had one extra so that'll be very handy for setting up next to experiments and things. Um, likewise I've still got my old Micronto one so that's good too. But this thing will be very handy, thank you very much for that. It's always appreciated. Um, likewise I'm just going through some catalogues and things i got today. So, um, manufacturers monthly and they gave us an SMC catalogue so I just thought I'd look up this little cylinder which is a different brand, Festo brand but uh, the equivalent that SMC sell being a tie rod cylinder uh, not the extruded cast body it was a um, 40 millimeter bore instead of 32 they only go down to 32 on the crimped cylinders but 42 with a 50 mil stroke which is slightly longer than this one this is Sorry, this is 25 by 50, so this one doesn't go down quite as far. Um, yeah, it was roughly $200 just for one of them. Right, you go down to... Uh, yeah, it seems like SMC, the smallest they made in the tie rod style, or ISO styles, 40 mil or 32 mil. But if you go down to crimp, strim, sl uh, slim cylinder, clean line, uh, $119.99. Pretty expensive. That's why I collect all the pneumatic stuff I can, even a bag of 10 right angle joiners, $49.80. Expensive stuff. So yeah, regulators again, expensive. Anything pneumatics, anything hydraulics, just expensive. So yeah, that was very handy to have. Likewise, Manufacturers Monthly is always good to read through, it's got a website there. It's health and safety and um, innovations, automation, all that sort of stuff. So you can read it online if you're not eligible to get it in the industry. I had to laugh at that fan, that fan company. <laughs> but then again, you do have like a three metre blade span. Pretty serious. So yeah, look that one up. It's all well worth it if you're into industrial stuff. Uh, there's a logistics and material handling catalogue there as well. Crown Warehousing Solutions. What's this? DHL Free E-Waste Recycling Service. I'll have to read that one because uh, Australia doesn't have much of that because it's so expensive to do it here. There really isn't much at all. But then again, where's DHL sending the stuff? So, who knows? <laughs> National Television and Computer Recycling Scheme is industry funded and regulated by Australian Government. Okay, well, it's good to see they're actually supporting something for once instead of trying to run it out of the country. Half the problem here is labour's expensive, uh, environmental regulations are very tight, like handling of lead containing printed circuit boards and things, and it just gets pretty out of hand, so I'll read that article some more and see, how, see what they're up to because it would be nice to see free e-waste collection d depots in towns and things like that like not charging nine dollars each to dump televisions at the local tip that is just rude when they're supposed to be like the epa could be funding it with all the money they get writing out tickets to companies for minor violations okay 
Next stuff is EDM stuff. I'm also getting the um, table, the sliding table and headstock assembly to modify probably into a uh, some kind of improvised drill press with your X and Y axis controls. It's also got the scales for the DRO mounted on it so that makes things very easy to dial in. It's a fairly expensive DRO too, Heidenman, Heidenhain actually. Um, West Germany. <laughs> Fairly expensive stuff. It's even got a um, RS232 port on it. Uh, what do we got? We've got various diodes. Uh, that's the transistors I replaced in the back of it. We never really got much further than that as far as controlling the direct current. It did make a difference, but I think it only blew up more of it. <laughs> There's just so many things wrong with this machine. Basket case, really. Three phase bridge. Oh no, that's a single phase bridge rectifier. There's not that's a three phase bridge rectifier. That's the main DC feed for the um, electrode. Three blue wires come off the transformer and there's two outputs somewhere which have been chopped off. Oh sorry, one, one's negative, one's positive. The white one on the back I think is positive. Big knife switch with plastic shields on it. That's for polarity changing. You could change between positive to the table to negative to the table and vice versa for the spindle. So it just changes the polarity of your thing depending on what material you're EDMing. Um, yeah, 240 volt buzzer. A couple of silicon controlled rectifiers, I think. Oh no. Yeah. Don't know. 120 volt fans, four of them. Resistors of various sizes in high wattages. Uh, and the front panel front panel still got everything on it apart from the DRO which I've got these stops smashed start button works these are old switches but they still work potentiometers fairly old stuff fairly well worn stuff selector there's pretty much trash it's never worked properly we just leave it left it off anyway push buttons again some of them are a bit mangled this machine's done a lot of work but Volt gauge up to 200 volts, not quite practical for 240 volt jobs. An amp meter inline straight up to 30 amps. No current transformer needed for that one. But for the most part, most of this stuff is trash. I'll keep some of the high wattage resistors, but we had problems with, I think some of those transistors were faulty, the control in there was faulty. Um, there's just too many problems with it. So my mate Terry got busy scrapping it on Friday when he was babysitting a milling machine all day. So fair enough. The new potentiometers though, so I might give them back to him. Where are they? Oh no, they're not new. That one's got rust all over it. I'll ask him if he wants them. If not, I'll keep them. It's a bridge rectifier. Full wave. Yeah, it's push buttons and things. Now that's the rotary switches. Yeah, so I'll strip, strip that out, keep the uh, front panel mounts and everything and just chuck the rest in the steel bin. It's not really of any other, other use. Anyway, uh, what else did we get? We got two televisions today, 150 bucks each from JB. Um, not bad for cheapies. They've got the lot, full HD, various inputs. They've got two USB ports for... Uh, uh, um, multimedia content like your deep hard drive full of uh, videos and movies and things not bad just a little bit smaller than I thought I ordered but I think I messed up on the what what item I clicked so I've already sold one to Terry the guy who did the EDM with me and uh, he's going to use it in his caravan because it's 12 volt input um, you do get a plug pack with it but you can also run it on 12 volt DC as long as it's regulated well enough and his caravan is well regulated, it's got a proper separate uh, 100 amp hour SLA battery system and everything in it special charger, that sort of thing so very good uh, nice little panel too, there 1920 by 1080 full HD just a little bit small, I thought I was getting a 31 and a half inch panel but apparently my, my order form receipt says 21.5 oh well, live and learn Anyway, that's about all for now. I believe that's about all for now. Uh, yeah. 
Thanks for watching and again thanks to Viper CMA for donating a little multimeter. Always helpful. Thanks guys. Stay, uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos.